Hey all, what's going on? Not too much over here, just working on the Dead Man guitar. As you can see, I've got basically the bridge, both pickups, and the controls installed. I was talking with uh, Lance Moss and his, uh, not really a live hangout, but just shooting the shit, and uh, started working on this thing as we were talking. In that hangout, I was uh, hand rubbing the whole body of this thing, and uh, 3000 grit sandpaper, you gotta love it. Makes it real easy to buff out even by hand. Came out pretty good. And I'm happy with it. Really happy with it. Now, as we were talking, I finished up with the hand rubbing and uh, started working on the controls, getting everything wired and soldered and put together. The only thing I'm left with right now is just putting in the output jack, which I changed it from a chrome output jack, which comes with the kit, to one that matches both pickups. Now, when I was putting in the P90, I never put in a P90 before, and didn't realize how they're installed, what you do with them. Um, two screws and two springs through basically almost the center of it, and uh, it's mounted. First P90 ever installed. First P90 ever owned. Let's see if anybody is in the chat of this right now. Nope, nobody's there. That's cool. Not a big deal. Not expecting a lot of people to jump in. So right now I'm kicking back, puffing on a cigarette, and uh, I'm going to start finishing up the remainder last part of the wiring and that's it so i need to plug in the soldering gun again I ended up going upstairs and getting a little something to eat started getting a little hungry i don't know why but so i made myself uh just some of what was left over from tonight and now I'm back to work it is about 12 37 I believe right now Thing came out pretty good I really think the combination of the chrome with the cream pickups uh, that's a Wilkinson's this is the dragon fire now you, know, you guys will sit there and say oh dragon fire you know cheap Chinese shit or whatever but I'm gonna tell you it's got to be better anything's better than the stock pickup that comes with this kit I use the controls, the three-way switch, and the pots. This is a humbucker with rails on it, and they're also splittable. I did not get the switch to split it, so. But the option is there if somebody wants to later on. So I have to wait till the soldering gun heats up before I can start working on this thing oh. now, I don't want to do anything as far as maybe putting the neck on because I got some loose wires here and I don't want those wires to scratch anything so meanwhile I'm just going to pick up all the loose wires and everything else that I have over here that I should be picking up These tubes here are basically heat shrinking tubing, and I use them when I'm wiring up the pickups. Um, there is a you know long piece of brown wire that is exposed, so I heat shrink it to make sure that it doesn't touch anything else. This plate here is grounded. I also have uh, painted in a little bit of the uh, uh, shielding. So where it's touching this plate, I also did it over here as well. That way there won't be any problems, hopefully and no, no grounding issues or problems with anything. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I know how you, some of these other guys feel when they're building. Complete mess everywhere. 
Now I'm not moving this thing around or, or, or you know changing where it's sitting. Once I get this soldered, I will pick this up, take this towel, shake it out because there's a lot of wood, little pieces of wood and shit that's on it. You know, some of the holes that I ended up having to drill out were uh, filled with the glaze coating, epoxy resin, whatever you want to call it. So I had to draw all those holes back out in order to start mounting stuff. We're just pretty much locked in place. Pickups are locked in place. This is the bullet end that I made for the uh, three-way switch. Again, in my last video, like I said, there is no stain on top of this body. Uh, there is no color that was added besides the wood burning and the back. That's it. So the top is just, is just a natural, natural uh, what they call a spalted maple. Let's see if my soldering gun is ready yet. Almost. Now, the one thing you, you want to do when you get these kick guitars, especially when you get to uh, hooking up the uh, output jack, bend this pin in a little bit that'll add more pressure when you plug it in sometimes it jiggles and it loses connection don't know if it's a ground or if it's the positive that does it but i always bend these in a little bit so they're a little bit more tighter they don't fall out real easy works out for pretty good all right so let's get this thing wired up And ground is on the top. You know, I hate when they Go ahead and solder shit for you because they kind of leave a mess on there and big blob of shit on here from the solder that they used. Now, what I've done too is I take a little a bit of sandpaper and I sand the terminal down a little bit to uh, make sure that it's got the solder has something to bite into. Kind of like what you would do on the back of a volume control pot. Alright, off the little extra it's on here. Don't need a soldering gun no more, that's done. So next I gotta drill the holes for the upper jack. Because it's got a different plate, different holes. So I'm going to move this out of the way. So here she is. And it came out pretty good. Thanks, Martin. Got Martin in the chat. <laughs> Here's the old pick guard. 
that came with the kit. There's the pickup that also came with the kit. This wire here seems to be like really like loose. I don't really trust it. So as a plastic on the pick cart and on the pickup. Here's the old bridge pickup that comes with the kit. Doesn't have a lot of winds on it. It's pretty good. The bobbins pretty hangs over the edges pretty uh, much where the winding is. So, and like I said, anything's got to be better than this cheap chain shit. I hold on to that stuff. I got a box full of it. And George asked me a while back to send him if I have any parts that I don't need. He asked me nicely if you can have them and you make a trade. So I do have, I'm adding more parts to that box. So if he still wants it, great. I have to put the strap locks on. Now, <clears throat> there are supposed to be somewhere here <clears throat> the string trees that come with this kit. But I didn't know if I was going to use or not because I was going to buy the barrel ones, and I did not do that. So instead the kit comes with you know just a regular bent like piece of metal. I'm gonna probably end up putting those on. Now behind the neck pickup, I end up putting a little bit of foam rubber behind it. Kind of a uh, an old trick that's been used for quite a long time that uh, I figured, you know what? I'm going to do it with this one. I don't like how the, I know how all the pickups work where as far as mounting goes. I kind of don't like how the P90 sets up. So just to make sure it's not going to be wobbling or anything else and it sits nice and straight, a little bit of this shit doesn't hurt. And all this is is just a foam, foam red, weather stripping. Not very uh, soft, but not very hard either. Just enough to keep the pickup in position. So right now I'm just getting all this crap out of here. So I can shake out this fucking towel. Now I'm not gonna string it up today. I am pretty much going to get it done as far as putting it together. That way tomorrow, all I have to do is put the strings on. All right, now for this damn output check. Got the screws. <clears throat> it's funny. For this kit, there's only like uh, two, four, five, six, about six wires. They have to be seven wires. They have to be soldered. And that's all the solder that they give you, about two inches of it. Not a big deal. If you know how to solder, you don't even need that much. All right, get my drill bit ready for the drill the holes for the that cut for the output jack output cover jack whatever you want to call it nice no I'm tired right now I'm really fucking tired Please hope this locks in place. Oh man, you're not gonna lock in place, are you? Drill bit's too small. 
This fucking drill is a beast, this Hitachi. This thing has got so much torque in it, it's unreal. This little Bosch is not bad either. Works pretty damn good. Never had a problem with it ever. Besides when the battery goes out. So I'll be using that. So I have to line up where this puppy is going to go. Get the wire to go in there a little bit. Tuck it in. going in so I had to kind of get the slide in there a little bit. Alright, so what do we got here? One of the holes lined up, which is fine with me. Give me a plug so I can plug in there. Go to clear fine. It comes from the floor. Make sure it's nice and straight. That's one thing we want to make sure. So there she is. Now start putting the screws in. Jeweler screwdriver. These fucking screws are small. Getting started. The stock output jack that comes with this kit's already got a curve to it. This one's plastic. This is kind of for a less Paul. I wanted to put it in here because it matches pretty much the pickups.
there, is there a delay between the actual video and the stream? All right, so there she is. Cream color output jack. Back of it. Everything else came out exactly the way that I wanted it to. That's holes there for the uh, strap locks. I wanted the back to look aged, old, besides the clear. And uh, that's what I got. That's what I came out to be. And I have to say, out of all the kits that I've built, I think I like this one the most. Yeah, I don't like these too much, but they do work. Others come with a felt pad. This comes with a rubber pad. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on. Don't have to drill because there's already a hole already drilled in it. Not too shabby for a kick guitar, huh? Dying to hear what that P90 sounds like. All right. What's left is the neck. Holes are already pre-drilled on that, so I don't have to worry about it. There's a back plate with a black, I don't know if it's supposed to be plastic or looks like it's plastic or rubber, but I think it's plastic. I'm yeah, it's plastic. I need to get a razor blade and scrape it though. We got a burr going all the way around. You got a burr going all the way around the plastic, so I'm just scraping that off just for razor blades, taking scrape it like this. Plate, no writing on it, fits right into it. All right, let's see if I can put a neck on <clears throat> this puppy upside down. Now hopefully, they lined up these holes pretty good. I hope. Because they, they're the ones that pre-drilled everything, not me. That's 
see if the screws start coming through the back a little bit. Nope, not yet. There it is. And hopefully I don't have to shim anything on this and everything goes the way it's supposed to. So what I'm doing is I'm just screwing down the screws until I feel the point coming through the other end. This is where you wish you had another set of hands. Hopefully I don't knock the camera off the shelf. Well, looks like the holes are all where they're supposed to be at. Snugging them in, not torquing them yet. And you don't want to torque these down too tight. Snug them up real good, and that's about it. She's a guitar now. Not too shabby, not too bad at all. <clears throat> well, that's it for now. Till tomorrow, we'll get some strings on it. See how where everything falls, how everything falls, and uh, maybe make some noise. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take it easy and have a good one.